All right, now, as another bank falls, Washington is working around the clock to hammer out a rescue plan for the financial industry. Republican Senator James DeMitt has been one of the biggest opponents of the deal. He joins us now from the Russell Rotunda in the nation's capitol building. Jim, thanks for coming on the show. Let me ask you yeah, first. Thank you. Let me ask you first of all about uh, Washington Mutual. I mean, it's kind of a scary reminder of what could happen if we don't bail out these banks. We're definitely going to see a few more fall. Do you not think so? Well, there's no question we need to do something. Uh, my hope all along has been that we can do something that's consistent with free market principles and, and something that recognizes the problem came not from our capitalist system, but from failed government policies. And I haven't heard enough of that from the administration. There's too much blame being laid on our free enterprise system and not enough attention being paid to the fact that it was poor policy and poor oversight that caused this. But we do need to do something, and the fact that the government has promised to do something has made the situation even worse. So uh, we all hope we can get something out of here in the next day uh, to, to relieve the stress on the credit markets. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's sort of on the edge of their seats yesterday waiting for a deal to come out of the White House. That fell apart. Uh, what's the status of the talks now? I mean, you, you expect something to be finished by the end of tomorrow? I think it will be. I mean, everyone's kind of in a panic mode, and our hope has been, and as well as some champions over on the House side who are, are trying to uh, re-inject some constitutional boundaries into this whole debate, there's no need for the federal government to become a player in the financial markets by, by buying stock and mortgages and selling those on the market and becoming a player. Uh, what we need to do is look at products that have worked in the past, insurance products, loan guarantees, uh, as well as some uh, pro-growth ideas such as throwing out the capital gains tax, throwing out Sarbanes-Oxley. We need some pro-growth ideas mixed into this bailout. Otherwise, next year early, we'll be back doing the same thing. These are, these are those some pretty big ideas here. I mean, throwing out the capital gains tax, throwing out Sarbanes-Oxley. Is that something that you see as even within the realm of possibility? Probably not. I think uh, the, the Democrats have Bush over a barrel. He knows he needs money to create liquidity in the markets. The Democrats want a whole lot more regulation and the ability to control the markets. And so Bush is probably going to have to give them the tighter controls over, over our financial system as well as ownership in it in order to get what he feels like we need to save the, uh, the economy right now. So uh, uh, it's, it's a tough situation, but the Republicans in the House are, are, are pushing hard. Uh, for some alternative considerations. I don't know if they'll be listened to or not, but I really think we're crossing a constitutional line here. Well, l let me ask you, I mean, it's, you know, it's an ugly question, kind of, but it's, everyone knows it's part of the political playbook. Would you be willing to filibuster, uh, filibuster this on the Senate floor if it necessary? No, no, I'm not. Uh, all I'd ask for is a chance to read what they want us to pass. It would be nice for the American people to know what it is because every day we're hearing they're sticking new things in there. Uh, there'll probably be more uh, pork in this bailout package than we've ever um, uh, spent before. And so they're using this as an opportunity to really scam the American people uh, for more money, uh, which is uh, almost embarrassing. All right, Senator DeMint, thank you so much for joining us, taking some time out of your clearly very busy schedule uh, today. Senator Jim DeMint there from thank South you. Carolina.